I personally have just done this so much that mm -hmm. I can just kind of give it a press and, yeah. and see where it's at. If you're not feeling that comfortable with, mm -hmm. with it at home, you can always use a uh, thermometer mm -hmm. and looking for an internal temperature of 140 and, and 150. Okay. And it'll continue to cook a little more. It will, rest yeah. Also. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and pull this guy out, let him rest. So these mushrooms go right into these the These mushrooms go right in. Boom. And you can see there's so much fond on the bottom of that yes. pan. And then as the mushrooms cook in here, they're going to release all of their moisture. Mm -hmm. All that fond's going to kind of come up. We want, we want them to release their moisture, that moisture to evaporate, and then them start to crisp. So you can really get them caramelized exactly. and browned. No other way to cook a, mush a mushroom, really. No, not at all. And you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Okay, that's a really good tip. Yeah, as soon as you overcrowd the pan, the mushrooms are going to release too much moisture, mm -hmm. and you're going to have a harder time getting them nice and crispy. Right, they basically steam at that point. Yes. And again, you're keeping the heat right around medium. Yeah, okay. basically the whole time. And then once you get them in, you want to season them with just a little bit of salt, and okay. this is going to help them release their moisture as Perfect. well.